hybrid cattail is a combination between our native broadleaf cattail and an invasive narrowleaf cattail. So hybrid cattail tends to take over and outcompete other plants for light and nutrients. What we're doing in our project is we've chosen nine lakes across the state. At each lake we have two sites, a site where we're gonna keep hybrid cattail there and a site where we're gonna remove hybrid cattail. Um, and then we're gonna measure a whole bunch of different things at each of those sites. So we'll measure dissolved oxygen and temperature, plant community and fish community to see if we see different things occurring in that cattail removal. Um, site. We're removing cattail just by cutting cattail below the water at a fairly small scale to see if this is a management technique that could be spread across lakes in Minnesota and help restore near shore lake ecosystems to what they were before hybrid cattail invaded. We're seeing a lot of different native species come back in the sites where cattail's been cut out. Um, depending on where this site's at in the state is kind of dependent on what species we'll see. Um, so we're seeing in the more northern sites a lot of wild rice coming back. Some of the more southern sites we're seeing a lot more pondweed, native watermill foils, floating leaf plants like duckweeds. We're seeing a lot of emergent plants, burr reeds, uh, soft stem bulrush, hard stem bulrush, a lot of floating leaf plants. We're seeing a lot of uh, white water lily, yellow water lily. Um, water shield is coming back at a, a couple sites in big numbers, which has been great. One of the consequences of hybrid cattail invading is there tends to be low oxygen in the water. Fish are very sensitive to this. So this is really the first study of its kind that's looking at how hybrid cattail affects fish communities on inland lakes in particular. So in the areas where we remove cattail, we think there might be a time lag um, before we see more fishes reclaim these shorelines. Although in this first year, we're seeing a few new species, and those include darter species, so fishes that are related to perch and walleye, including Johnny and Iowa darters, as well as some minnow species, which are important food for our game fishes. We're not just removing cattails for cattail's sake because they're a nuisance for landowners. What's really important is removing cattails and allowing native plant communities to be restored, to grow back. When you have that restoration of what a near shore lake zone should be in a Minnesota lake, you will then have a healthy food web and a healthy fish community in the lake overall.